Right, we are given a rectangle, A, B, C, D. There it is, A, B, C, D. Okay, and being a rectangle, that means that we have right angles in all the corners, uh, specifically in that corner. And then we have A, E, and B are points on a straight line L, which has that equation there, X plus 2Y equals 12, right? Okay, and A and D are points on the straight line M. That's that line there. Uh, and we're also told that AE equals BE. So that distance there is equal to that distance there. Right, all good information. Now, what do they actually want us to do with all of that? Ah, they want us to find an equation for M. That's this line here. Okay. Right, well, the first thing to notice is that it's perpendicular to this line here uh, because of that right angle that I've marked in. And so when we're trying to find the equation of the straight line, which is, of course, y equals mx plus c, and we want to find the gradient of m, uh, then we probably want to use this fact here, which says that perpendicular gradients multiply together to give minus 1. And if we can find the gradient of L, so if we can do a sort of an up divided by a cross, a rise over run for that, then that will give us the gradient of L and we can find the gradient of M. Good. Now we also need to know a point on M and I'm sort of thinking the obvious point to find is A. Right. Well, let's do what we can do first of all. Um, let's look at the, these points here. Uh, that's B and E. Because, why would we do that? Well, we know that that distance, BE, is the same as that distance, AE. So if we know B and E, we can sort of work our way across the graph to find A. So let's do that. Let's see if we can find the point E. Well, how do we find the point E? Well, that is on the line M, and it's on the y-axis, so it happens when x equals 0, and that means that 0 plus 2y equals 12. The 0 is neither here nor there, so we can divide both sides by 2, and that gives me uh, y equals 6. So this point here, E, has got a y-coordinate of 6. So I'll put 6 on the y-axis there. Now, what about the point uh, B? Well, let's have a look at that one. In a very similar way, this one not only lies on L, but also lies on the x-axis. And on the x-axis, all the points have y equals 0. So if we put y equals 0 in there, we get x plus 2 times 0 equals 12. So x equals 12. So at the point B, uh, that coordinate, the x-coordinate, is 12. Right. Now, I said we could work our way across the diagram to get to A, and that's because if I, to get from E to A is the same as getting from B to E. And to get from B to E, I go 12 that way and 6 up, don't I? So 12 to the left and 6 up. And so to get from uh, E to A, I will also go 12 that way and 6 up, all right? And so we can say what the point A is. All right, so from the diagram, we can see that uh, the point A is, well, this 12 across starts at 0, so that's minus 12, and then this, uh, whoops, wrong one, this 6 up, starts from 6, and 6 plus 6 is 12. So the point A is minus 12, 12. And we have a point on the line we're trying to find. So all we need to do now is find the gradient of that line. So how do we find the gradient of this line M? Well, we're looking for y equals mx plus c, and the gradient is called M, confusingly, little m in this case. Well, we can find the gradient of L. We could either do it from the equation, or in fact, since we've got these things on the um, 
diagram, why not just say the gradient of L is equal to, well, let's have a look at it. It's rise over run. The rise is down 6, is it not? So that's minus 6 over the run, which is, if we're going in that direction, we're down 6 and across plus 12. So that is minus 6 over 12, which is minus a half. Okay, and that we should be able to say, now the gradient of M is, well, how do we do that? We've got perpendicular gradients, they multiply to give minus 1, and so we just have to ask ourselves the question, what multiplies with minus a half to give minus 1? And the answer, I hope you can see, is 2. All right. Um, how did that happen? Well, as I say, we used this rule here to find the 2. And so now we have the gradient uh, that we need, and we have a point on the line, and we should be able to see uh, what the equation of m is. Well, the equation of m uh, is y equals little m x plus c, and we know what little m is. It's 2, so y equals 2x plus c, and if we put the point uh, minus 12, 12 in there, so put x equals minus 12, y equals 12 in there, we should be able to work out c. So 12 is equal to 2 times minus 12 plus c. Uh, 2 times minus 12 is, plus, is minus 24. So if I add 24 to both sides, I get 36 equals c. And so the equation of m is y equals 2x plus 36. And that is one way of doing this question. There are other ways, but that would be the most straightforward way, I think, anyway.